um, something that was like this with a hoop of oak with some goat skin across it was used to help dig out the peat to move the peat when they were, uh, especially in Ireland, where they were uh, uh, getting the peat ready for the peat fires. Also makes kind of a nice instrument. Can you all hear that okay? Okay. Um, I'm going to sing a song that um, was one of the most popular songs of the period, eventually. Now it's almost a kid's song. A lot of songs uh, from uh, the colonial period, if we remember them at all, they kind of became kid's songs like Pop Goes the Weasel. That used to be sung by adults as well as, as, well as children. Well, uh, the, um, the Dutch that lived up in New York, New Amsterdam, uh, had a special word for uh, folks who were not Dutch, and they called them Yankees. That's how we might pronounce it. And um, there's a song that is called Yankee Dude that I'm going to sing for you now. And I'm going to sing it uh, with this drum here. It kind of has a bit of a martial beat, and these are some words uh, that you might not uh, normally hear, especially if you uh, have a child and, and you buy the Disney version of this song, you probably won't hear some of these verses. But I'll try. <laughs> well, father and I went down to camp along with Captain Good. We saw some men and boys as thick as tasty pudding. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Find the music and the step, and with the girls be handy. And there was General Washington upon the strapping stallion, shouting orders to his men. I guess there were a million. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Find the music and the step, and with the girls be handy. And there they had a swamping gun as big as a log of maple. Upon a deuce and little cart, a load for father's cattle. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle handy. Find the music and the stepping with the girls be handy. Well, then they'd march to scream and yell, fire in our faces. Scared me almost half to death to see them run such races. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle handy. Find the music and the step with the girls be handy. These songs have seen, seen our country from even before we were a country. And they're still with us today, worth singing. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to hear you. Oh, where you rolling river. Oh, Shenandoah.
and um, you might recognize it. It's a song called Molly Malone. I'll be singing songs of uh, the time of the, the Civil War, or if you're from the South, the time of uh, the War of Northern Aggression, <laughs> as they call it down there. I was just down in Richmond uh, last, last weekend. And um, hopefully I'll stumble on some more songs that you know and that you like. I've got some schedules over here. I'd love to see you again. I'm doing a, a Christmas concert in Burlington uh, soon enough, and I've got some recordings as well, including one called Americana, which has uh, some of the songs we've sung tonight. And, uh, so I gotta go back and change again. You should see my clothes. I have, a, I have more shoes than Amelia Marcos has. <laughs> see my clothes. Uh, so I'll finish up uh, with this song. It's called uh, The Poor Wayfaring Stranger. <laughs> Stay alive before me. 
just so overjoyed. right in the middle, right between the Carolinas and all the way up to Massachusetts or so. Well, they didn't know is if uh, they managed to take the city, which they did, uh, well, the, the fellows who were running the show back then could just scamper off into the countryside, maybe meet in another town, and so they did. So it was very, very hard. No matter how many cities the British were able to capture during that time, they could not put this down because all it took was General Washington and his men out in the field to constantly keep the war going. This song tells a story about one fellow who you might not have heard of before. He was a man who risked everything in order to warn General Washington and his men of the upcoming British invasion. He lives in, uh, lived in my area of Pennsylvania, down in the Brandywine uh, Valley area, and it's a song called The Blacksmith of the Brandywine. Make it one for Washington and all his gallant men, and one for the girl that holds was mine.
shall guard one faithful heart shall praise thee. The moon fell, but the full man's chains could not bring his proud soul under the heart he wore never spoke. And a song that was so uh, heartbreaking that uh, in some uh, southern units they were forbidden to sing this song. That's a very true story. And uh, as you'll see uh, from the song, it's a beautiful, a beautiful love song which would tug at the heartstrings. It's a song called Lorena. One of Poe's most uh, popular the lost Lenore. I think there's no coincidence in an attachment here. Oh, the years creep slowly by Lorena. Snow is on the ground again. And the suns blow down the skies, Lorena. Frost creeps where the flowers vent. Sun is warmly now as when the summer days were nigh. All the sun could never dip so low to be down in affection's cloudless sky. Since last I held your hand in mine And felt the pulse beat fast, Lorena Though mine beat faster far than thine Oh, hundred months twas flowery May When up that hilly slope climb just to watch the dying of the day And to hear the distant church bells chime Then Lorena, far more than we 
second one, uh, feel free to clap along and sing along. Uh, not all these songs are, are sad songs or tragic songs. Not everybody dies. Some of them have not, absolutely nothing to do with war whatsoever. Some of the favorite songs of the soldiers were songs that had nothing to do with war. That's the one thing that they didn't want to sing about. They didn't want to sing about that. It's, and, and it's an interesting thing. A lot of the songs that were actually sung of war were sung back home. With uh, Stephen Foster, who was the, America's first mass-produced songwriter, a lot of these songs um, uh, and, and other fellows like George Root would come after him. Their songs were mass produced and they played on pianos and parlors north and south, but especially in the north. The fellows who were out there in the battlefield, who saw the battle, who saw the war, the blood, they didn't sing songs of war, they sang songs of home. It's an interesting thing. So a lot of the songs of the Civil War that we think of today were not sung by soldiers until after the war was done. They were sung by their loved ones back home. Oh, 